Hello, my loves, and welcome back to the Bridge of the Unreliable. We are in orbit around Terra 2, is this one, or is this Terra 3? I can't remember. But there's Monarch, the moon that we've just been wandering around. And there's Ada being all oblique. I There's obviously some stuff that we need to do, some mission-based story stuff that we need to do involving her. Um, I think she's a lot more sapient than she's letting on, you know. I think she knows a lot more and feels a lot more and experiences a lot more than she lets on. And I think that's going to become the basis of a story at some point. Anywho, there's loads of places we can go. There's Monarch. That's Olympus. That's what we're in orbit around. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Looks like there's something locked off there. Scylla. One of the largest asteroids orbiting Halcyon. Hmm. Hephaestus. Terra 2. Should we go and see Phineas? We haven't actually been to see Phineas yet. Let's go. Yay! That's <laughs> so cool. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain. Oh and my god! In one piece. Shall well I congratulate myself? <laughs> or would you like to do the honors? Congratulations, Ada. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I like her so much. She's lots of fun. Yes. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. <laughs> I like her a lot. Look at this. My god, this is beautiful. I mean, Jesus, Obsidian, what the hell? This is pff, a wow. Yeah? A well done, Obsidian. I mean, bleeding hell. Anywho, let's just use the workbench while we've got a moment. Um, what can I modify? Do I have anything for this? The Fun Times Barrel, the Speedy Mate Barrel, what does that do? Uh, greatest risk to rapid firing weapons is overheat and warping of the barrel. Fitting a heat sink along the barrel allows rate of fire to be safely increased. This is not, this isn't rapid firing, so that isn't really, no, the Whisper Quiet muzzler is still the best for this one, I'm afraid. Mag 2 power, ranged weapon mod, uh, changes the weapon's damage type to plasma, that's pretty cool. I suppose you could do that. Why not? We've got a bit of plasma going on now. Um, extendo sight, we've already got that. Um, gyro sight, no, that's, that would be bad for this particular weapon. Um, what's this? Is this a flamethrower? Whisper Quiet would be absolutely pointless. Oh, this is the heavy machine gun. Uh, fun times we've already got. Speedy Mate might be good for this, so let's put that on. Because that seems to be helping a great deal, does it not? Um... Hmm. So what's better, that or the fun times? I don't really know at the moment. We haven't got anything else. So uh, we'll see. We'll find out sooner or later. Uh, tactical shotgun. What have we got for you? We've already got a fun times for you. And nothing else. So that's all good. What about you? There'd be no point of putting a whisper quiet muzzler on this, would there? It's already got a fun times barrel. So there's no point in doing anything else with that. Mr. Ouch. Ooh. Mmm. That's pretty cool, I've got to say. Ooh, look at that. Bloody hell. That looks lethal, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolutely bloody lethal. Um... The fun times barrel might be good for this. I mean, it is a grenade launcher, so, you know. What about you? Have we got anything for you? Mr. Ouch. Improve your weapons and armor by adding mods. Uh, it's already got the Mr. Power, so it doesn't really need that, to be honest. Okay, I think we're all right for the time being. Um, what about armor-wise? Hmm. Toughened thug kit. That's pretty cool. Let's tinker with a few things before we do anything, shall we? If we can. Oh, yes. 
the more tinkering the better what about the armor that's what we're wearing at the moment isn't it so any tinkering to be done apparently not no okay um what needs repairing let's repair everything and anything that needs breaking down well you definitely we don't need you um hmm We've already got one of those, haven't we? We don't need two. Euthanasia kit, I like him. Uh, plasma carbine, we'll keep that. Uh, and I think that's it for now. Right. Let's go and talk to Phineas. And who are we going to take? We're going to take Pavati. Yeah, we'll take Pavati and uh, Nioka, I think, because um, we're going to be using Nioka in her um, her mission. So, what the bloody hell? Phineas Improved Science Lab. Negotiate with Sprats for territory. <laughs> Install Sisty Pig Slurry Catchment. Rocks. No. Never touch this. Twelfth Power Energy Field. Whitening flare dispenser. Very exciting. Smiley face. I take it these are Phineas's notes. I think maybe Phineas is a little out there, you know? I think maybe he's a little, um... Uh... Um, hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? <laughs> oh, damn it. Blast, that's loud. <laughs> Yeah, I can hear you, Phineas. Oh, he's he's such a brilliant character. I'm not going to steal from Phineas. I, I kind of like him. I mean, he's mad as a box of frogs, but I still kind of like him. Oh, is that... Whoa. God, Phineas' ship is in a right old state, isn't it? I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. Okay. And securing myself. Ooh, I'm not sure that sounds particularly... Mind the mess, sir. I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Yeah, no kidding, Phineas. Bloody hell. Hey! What the hell? Sisty pigs! Lots and lo Oh, there's one running around over there. That's okay. There's a wrapped in a tube there. It's still alive! Its eye is moving, look! <laughs> Okie dokie! What's this? Hmm... Hello, Sisty Pig! You alright? Ugh, oh, they're gross, aren't they? What is this? You spent over four decades in space with nothing but the technology of this little chamber keeping you alive. The rest of your fellow colonists are still trapped in similar chambers, waiting for you Reminded to restore you them. Was my your odds of survival were a mere 28%. Ah, right, okay. Well, that's that's great, Phineas. Thank you, I suppose. Reminder, obscure body in the SK system. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love that. Definitely. Is that a dead sisty pig under there? Reminder, buy ladder. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a poster. What are we, why are we collecting the posters? I wonder what that is about. Feels slightly mission-esque, doesn't it? Are we going to put those on the ship or something? You right there, Phineas? How you doing? What is that? Oh, it's a shrink ray. That might be fun. What the? Bloody hell. Why are all of your bots broken, Phineas? Sissy Big Hoof. Alright, why not? I'll have it. Oh dear. Reminder, mop up melted pig. Mmm, melted pig. I mean, were we supposed to be one of his experiments or something? Tamed canid! Dead canid now. 
Hey. <laughs> What the hell is that? It's a pocket watch. Absolute brilliance. He's a bit of a messy uh, scientist, isn't he? But then again, I can sort of relate to that. My my working space is very messy too. Uh, reminder, extinguish plasma cutter before returning to pocket. Yeah. Probably a good... Right, hello. Probably a good idea, Phineas. <clears throat> I mean, can I take the shrink ray? So I will. Uh -huh. I see you from it's a science weapon. Jock weapons are indeed department science weapons. Science weapons are unique weapons that have strange and powerful effects. Science weapons damage and the strength of their effects both increase as your science skill is increased. Jock engineers ensure our bottom line and fire rates are sky high. Okay. A portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Mm hmm. Find a target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Brilliant. Well, that's wonderful. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. Will do. That sounds like fun, actually. Reminder 14. Remember it this time. Absolutely vital. 14, 14, 14. Hmm, we may need to remember that. So, Phineas. Oh, thank the law. Your skin hasn't spontaneously changed color. Not that I know of. of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. Okay. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, caffeinoids, sisty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> so, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. Okay. That's good to know. <laughs> Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. Uh -huh. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board and emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. Well, yes, there's that, isn't there, Phineas? <laughs> what's on your mind? I dread to think what's on yours. Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite <laughs> scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Okay. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Good to know. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's talk. <laughs> no, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. <laughs> nice to meet you, Dr. Wells. I'm Pervati Holcomb. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Okay. Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed <laughs> laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted privacy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. <laughs> for what it's worth, I am pleased that you found the crew, such as they are. <laughs> you're a talented scientist, after all. Our kind has always been incredibly popular. I'm not so sure about that, Phineas. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well done. Also, you still haven't spontaneously liquefied, which pleases me immensely. Mm -hmm. Progress. <laughs> What's on your mind? Absolutely. Let's talk. I wouldn't survive ten seconds in the blackness of the Aether. Okay, fair enough. Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least twelve seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. <laughs> I enjoyed the occasional Aether wave drama in my youth. Not anymore. All bored propaganda. I'd rather not be brainwashed. Fair enough, I suppose. To answer your question, I'd rather stay right 
right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The Hope's colonists won't revive themselves, you know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah! Because we've lost our way, the board has a stranglehold over this colony. And we've all been conditioned to total obedience. Right, okay. The Hope is full of specialists, scientists, engineers, talented individuals. Oh, that explains my character. Mm. I'm drinking coffee, by the way. Colonists have been frozen for decades, well past your shelf life. <laughs> no offense. None taken, I suppose. You need to work on your social skills. Okay. But the conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. There's yet hope for the hope. Get it? <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. We'll do our very best to save them all. I wonder. I best get back to work. Oh, I can feel my last dose of caffeinoid fading. All right. Fair enough, Phineas. You do what you want to do. Um. I wonder, though, is he telling the truth? You've done fine work for Sublight. By the transitive property of reputation, I am now in Sublight's good books. Well done. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. What's on your mind? I'm not doing too badly in that regard, actually. Right, I'll leave him be for now. Um, I'm going to put, actually, what don't I use very much? Oh, I use all of these, don't I? I've got a good spread of weapons. I'll keep that for now, because um, that looks like it's going to be fun. And, uh, right, let's head back to Halcyon, shall we? Because Nyoka has stuff to do there, by all accounts. I don't know, I get the impression that Phineas might have some ulterior motive. Not necessarily sinister, just not entirely what he's telling us, you know? Just a feeling, that's all. Just a feeling that maybe there's some other... I don't know, agenda in reviving the crew of the Hope. We'll see. Oh, we'll see. Right. Back we go to Halcyon. To see uh, see about getting the Oka's crew sorted. I like the character quests, actually. The character quests are loads of fun. And they just, they just add depth to things, you know? I've always liked these in RPGs. One of the things I loved in um, the original Final Fantasy VII was like the first, uh, rather the second disc was almost entirely character missions. It was all about, it was about developing a sense of attachment to your to the characters that you were playing with, um, and it worked so well. It worked beautifully. There are not many RPGs that do that well. It has to be said. Um, Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship? <laughs> Alright, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, Ada. Yeah, right, Pavati, how you doing? Sometimes I wonder about Mr. Hawthorne. What was he like? Why'd he make the computer a talkie? Hmm. You think he got lonely? Flying about on his own? What are you talking about? I'm I'm Captain Hawthorne, and it's not Mr. Hawthorne, it's Captain, thank you very much. Hmm, interesting. So they always have something new to say, that's kinda cool. God, Phineas's lab is ace, isn't it? I mean, just aesthetically, it looks amazing. Righty ho. Where were we going? We were going to Terra 2, weren't we? Typhon. We're gonna we should we should do the groundbreaker missions as well. Can we go to Hephaestus yet? The closest planet to the sun, mining company was first to establish. Outpost here, and as such it is claimed of the planet for itself. No, we can't go there yet. But I'm sure we will be able to. Let's go to Edgewater then. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Yay! Thank you, Ada. God, it's so pretty. 
Okay. Maybe we should take Neoka and Max this time. Remember that you are not insured. Alright, fair enough. Let's take uh, Neoka and Max this time, just for a change, shall we? Um, yeah, that'll do. Just for a change, and I, I haven't done enough with Max yet, so uh, let's do a little bit more with him. Also, I want to see what kind of badinage Neoka has with him. I'd like to get more of the companions, actually. I really would. I wonder if there's... Um, is there just one per per world or one per setting, or are there more? And I'm just wondering, like, when does the, the unique dialogue between them run out? When does it start to recycle? Because it hasn't yet. Okay. Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it, guys? Hey, Max, you you need some new stuff, actually. You're looking a little bit um, underdeveloped at the moment, so let's get you sorted. Yeah, let's get you some of these first. Um, you're long range, aren't you? Armor rating, fine aim. Uh, let's have a look. That's good. That's very good, so let's give him that. Right, you're a little bit under-equipped, my friend, so let's get you something a bit nastier, shall we? That's a bit more like it. And in terms of your helmet... That's pretty good. Why not? Let's go the whole hog. Look at you. Right, weapons, my friend. Weapons. What are you equipped with? That's pretty good, actually. Hmm. The flamethrower is pretty good. That's way better. Level 12. Damage 82. Oh, the one he's got is way better. So, let's, uh... Let's keep him like that. He looks fabulous, for one thing. Don't you? I mean, my god. Okay, so where are we going? Hmm. Did we not open that last time? Or is it all just locked up? Hey! Hello? You alright? Okay, fine. Let him go. Because I don't want to um, break into there with him wandering around. Oh, maybe best not for now. God, everywhere's locked up. Is that because of what we did last time? It may be. Uh, it may be because the town is dead now. It's entirely possible. Should we have a look? What's, uh, has anything been happening to Edgewater while we haven't been here? I wonder. It's possible. It's entirely possible. We haven't been here for a very long time. Oh, coffee. Perfect accompaniment to a game like this. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people here who are not happy to see us. So, <laughs> well, let's see how things have been faring, shall we? Uh oh. Ooh, the music has changed. Hello. Got my sights on you. Okay. It looks different as well. Look, there are weeds and things sprouting up. Oh dear. Hello? Talking to the good vicar always lifts up my spirits. Does it? Well, he's here with me Our now. Place in the universe is fixed. Fair enough, I suppose.
Oh dear. Power's still out. Hey. Plague got you feeling woozy? Get yourself boozy with Spacer's Choice. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, you got anything else to say? Ah, never mind. I think I've I think I've exhausted her um her range of uh discussion. Doesn't look good round Oh look. There's like fungus and stuff sprouting up everywhere. That's very cool. So it has changed a bit. That's very cool. It do I mean, it's it's not good, but... Oh, there's still stuff going on here. Got my hands full at the moment. Make it quick, please. Yeah. And I imagine our friend here will not be pleased to see us. Oh yeah, it doesn't work, does it? <laughs> What's on your mind? Nothing much, Phyllis, nothing much. Yeah, I'll let you get back to that. Oh dear. Well, things aren't good here, are they? Sort of our fault, that. I mean, I've got to take a little bit of responsibility for that, I suppose. Just a little, you know? I mean, it's not my fault that the whole place is this neo- this giant temple to neoliberal corruption, is it? That was bound to eat itself sooner or later anyway. I merely expedited what was inevitable. At least that's the, uh, the moral sop that I'm giving to myself. So there. These people need marks. <laughs> they they desperately need someone to start dumping copies of the manifesto everywhere. Oh wow, got it. I mean, it it's striking how different the place is, isn't it? From um, Monarch, it looks so so different. Hey Max, how you doing? I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. Little else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime. I can imagine. So. Tell me what's on your mind. I excel at confessional listening. I bet you do. I'm all right, Max. Yeah. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. Oh yeah, he said this already, hasn't he? Hmm. <laughs> yes? He's very complex, isn't he? There's a lot going on here. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Well, before we do anything, let's get something a bit uh, meaty here. Oop, oop, oop. I never did like killing them. Insofar as I can see, they're not really doing much wrong. They're just animals, you know? Like a raft among the rocks. Yeah, exactly. Why do I get the impression the ochre isn't really much of one for stealth? I mean, she is half cut most of the time, so she's probably making more noise than she imagines she is. Ah, we're alright, actually. What are we looking for, anyway? What is it we're, um... We're here to find? Is it in the geothermal plant? Looks like it is. That's interesting. I wonder what on earth it could be. Oh, it's in one of the outbuildings. Oh dear. Gotta feel sorry for them, haven't you? So, what is going Oh, Oh no, it's further on! Interesting. Hello there, you alright? What the... God, the colour palettes in this game are insane. I still haven't seen it rain here, yet I was playing this game at a friend's house and the season was different here and it was raining all the time. The weather patterns were different, it was incredible. And yet I still haven't seen it rain on my playthrough, isn't that cool? I wager this is the outpost. Rebecca! 
Come on out. I wouldn't, Neoka. Oh, bollocks. Well, fine, if this is how it's gonna go. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's a tamed cannon. Oh, that makes me not want to shoot it. I will if it comes out, though, I can tell you that. Don't grunt and growl at me. <laughs> what the? Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Oh, what have you got? Doesn't matter, really. I mean, you still dead, regardless. So what did I do last time I was here? Did I just sneak around? I think I did. I don't think I actually tackled anyone the last time I was here. For fear of getting my ass beat. You know, which was entirely likely back then. I wasn't exactly up to it back then, you know? Of course, these days, it's the other way around. Interesting. Hmm. Hey, take a gander. The door's busted. Rebecca? Anders? You in there? Hmm. Huh. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry-rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. Okay. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Okay. Oh, oh, they're not dead, are they? That would be sad. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. What did you do? This is an unfortunate sight indeed. My condolences. Oh, crap. Oh, this sucks. Why did they do that? Did they kill themselves? Oh, it looks like it. That's sad. I wonder if there's some rusty journal. Its display is faded and the buttons are almost entirely rusted through, but you can still make out bits and pieces of what look like, looks like Rebecca's final entries. Law help me, but Anderson was right. We never should have taken this contract. I thought Monarch was bad, but this, this is unbearable. Everyone here is blind or addled or I don't know what. The towns wouldn't let us walk in without an employment contract. I can't even find someone to let me send a message. For all the capable folk here, we were stuck. Back home, we had to fight for every meal because there were no meals that you didn't make yourself. Here, there's plenty, but nobody's allowed to give you one. We've been stealing bits and pieces of life from wherever we can. Anderson is about ready to sign up, offer his life in service to Space's Choice just so he, he can take a shower. Clara, I hope to the architect this never reaches you, but on the off chance it does, I want to say I'm sorry. Anderson and I fucked up. We didn't take the contract for the bits. We didn't take it because primals sounded cool. We took it because we wanted out. Monarchs are living hell. We were sick of getting sick of boiled raptodon stinking like sulfur no matter how hard you scrub, of fighting day in and day out. We're exhausted. We thought we could use the contract money to find a place here, settle down, but this place ain't any better. It's just different. We're starving all the same. We never should have left. I just thought maybe we could do better. I miss you, kid. Marauders at the door. Anderson's bled out. I'm on my way. I won't let them get me. Not alive anyway. I've seen what those monsters do. They were... That bitch! They were all set to abandon us! What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you. The kid had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses. Ugh. I'd have leave your medallions to rot with you, but Clara would want to be buried with her sister. No. Oh. At least, at least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. If she were still alive now, it'd break her to know the truth. Hmm.
Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. I'm used to disappointment. She was still so naive as to let it hurt her every time it happened. <sighs> Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the mana queen out of our old base. Right, okay. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species <clears throat> was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. Okay. <laughs> That'd be boring. <laughs> the fun in exploring is the fact that you're on an unknown trail. I suppose so. I've never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. There's a few primals mm. around here, you know? Okay. God, that's really sad, isn't it? I had a feeling that this quest was going to be ending um, on a dark note. And it looks like that is definitely the case. Poor, I mean, the, it makes me feel that what I did to, uh, here on Halcyon was absolutely correct. The board basically starved these people to death, so fuck these assholes, you know? It's pretty appalling. Alright, before I go back to the, um, the unreliable... I'm just going to go see how everyone's doing at um, the deserters camp. All right, I'd assume. Whoa, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful stuff. What the fuck? Ah! Oh, thank you. What the? Ow! Bloody hell. What's going on? Exactly where am I? Oh, it's another way in! Oh, that's cool. Hey, Thomas, how you doing? Hey there. How are things? You alright? What's on your mind? Nothing much, really. I think I've already asked him that. Things seem hunky-dory here. People seem relatively happy. How's what's-her-face? Adelaide. Hey! Here. Okay, cool. Not sure I like all these spores everywhere or anything like that. Right, I suppose we can uh, we can head back to the unreliable. Since we settled things here pretty much. And yeah, I know I can fast travel, but where's the fun in that? Whoa! By the by, ladies and gents, I have ordered um, Death Stranding. I've heard it's not great to Let's Play, it's not really that kind of game. But I will be doing a little sort of impressions video on it. Um, and if, I ca if it does work for me as a Let's Play, then... Excellent, we will do it, but um, I have a feeling that it won't. I don't think it's that sort of game. I'm just fascinated by it. I can't play it and this at the same time. Um, they're too, they're both too big, they're too immersive. Um, oh, hello. There are enemies somewhere. What about you, sir? Opening fire. Oh, yes. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I don't think you will. <laughs> oh, it's all too... Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. You're right. Clever boy, seeking out shelter. It's not going to help you much, because Nyoka's going in after Everyone you, but, right? uh... 
Oh yeah. I don't think there's much here that can do us a great deal of harm at this point, to be honest. We're just too well equipped. And yeah, I'm talking about you. So much for the lookout, eh? Hehehe. <laughs> oh, go deal with him, Max. Hey, how you doing? What a coward. Right, okay. If that's the way it's gonna be. Oh. Ah, Max. God, where do they keep coming from, the bloody marauders? They're everywhere. I think I can go round Edgewater, can't I, rather than go through it. That might be preferable. You know... Considering what we've done to Edgewater, that might be entirely preferable. I don't want to see the fruit of my sins, thank you very much. Or indeed the consequences of my decisions. What on earth would be the point of that? Okay. Hello. I'll have that. Hmm. I bet it's unpleasant for these guys seeing this dock now, knowing what I did. Not good. Not good. Okay, let's get off world, shall we? And uh, we need to hit. Well, apparently, we're heading for Scylla, where we haven't been before. So, this should be interesting. I should really go to the Groundbreaker as well, because there's stuff that we need to do there. There's also um, a companion there, insofar as I'm aware. I know, I know, I have a couple of friends who are playing this alongside me, and we've been, we've all been doing it in different ways, sort of out of order. Um, which is kind of fun. As a result, I I sort of know things that they don't, and they know things that I don't, and it's all kind of fun. Okie dokie. Right. Pick up any more strays while you were out? I suppose if the crew's quarters fill up, we could hang hammocks in the cargo hold. I suppose we could, Ada. Why is it I can never tell when you're being sarcastic and when you're not? Because uh, I never can. Okay, Scylla, Scylla. Oh, Scylla's all the way over there. Uh, yeah? Sure? God, that is a long trip. Destination reached. Scylla. Whoa, is that it? Bloody hell, it's a rock. It's like an asteroid. Oh, this ain't going to be fun, is it? This is going to be horrible. It looks like a really really hostile environment but more so the monarch hmm, who knows right when we come back ladies and gents we'll go and see what's going on on Scylla until then bye bye